Hi, and welcome to Two Minute Tips for Autism. We have a great guest, Vicki Clark. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Well, we have a great question for you that we get all the time, and I'm so excited <laughs> that you're going to explain this to them. What is apraxia, and can speech language um, pathologists help with this? Absolutely. Apraxia is a motor speech disorder. So what that means is that the reason the child is not talking or has difficulty talking is not about how they're processing language, but physically how they're able to coordinate their breathing, turning on their voice, and moving their articulators, their tongue and their lips, um, to be able to produce speech. So they have difficulty with coordination. I think, I think a lot of people understand what stuttering is. It's in some ways can be similar to that. It's a coordination issue. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily weakness of the muscles, it's how those muscles move together. What are some signs, like if a parent's looking at their child and not knowing, we hear so many other therapists use the word apraxia, mm -hmm. quite frankly it seems like a lot. Right, absolutely. And so if I'm a parent wanting to see, well does my child have this, what, what am I really looking for? Right, well one of the classic symptoms of, or signs I guess, of apraxia is groping behavior. So a child is trying to say something, you know that they know the word, mm -hmm. so it's not that they don't have have the language. They know the word. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want, I have a little fellow who's three years old who loves everything Halloween and he tries to say the word skeleton, his most favorite thing on the planet, right? Um, and when he says it, it comes out gay da. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay? He has difficulty with trying to, to coordinate that, that movement to say the word. And what happens with him when you watch him as he's trying to produce the sound, he has groping behaviors. That's kind of the classic sign of apraxia, is that groping behavior. So he may be moving his mouth, i.e. trying to get the oh, sounds out, okay. and can't quite get his mouth moving the way that he wants it to. Kids can have oral apraxia and verbal apraxia. They can have both of those, or they can have one and not the other. Oral apraxia, you'll see movements where you, when you ask them to move their tongue, put your tongue out, move your tongue from the side to side to they side, can't do it? they can't do that. That's oral apraxia. Okay. But some of our kids can do those things. But they have verbal. But they have verbal apraxia. So when they're trying to produce speech, which is a very, very fast, complicated process that we don't even think about because it's so natural to us, um, when they start to coordinate those movements, they have a lot of difficulty and you'll see that groping behavior. And that's when they move their mouth but they're, and they're uttering something. Um, it's, a, it's a sound and you figure out, like you were talking about your client, mm -hmm. trying to say skeleton, mm -hmm. um, but they're moving their mouth and saying something similar or trying to different, say it. Different, right. And okay. you may see difference, you may see the same word pronounced differently. Okay. Um, different times. So that would be another oh, symptom. Um, okay. Kids who just have articulation problems, for instance, like maybe they can't say their THs or they can't say their Rs. Those kids are going to produce the same type of, um, of they're going to produce a word the same way every, every time. time. So instead of saying rabbit, they're going to say wabbit every single time. Mm -hmm. um, a child with apraxia might one time say wabbit, and the next time they might say abba, and they might say gotcha. dada. I mean, they, it's going to come out in different ways because it's the coordination issue, not just that one particular sound oh, that's that in so air. That is so helpful. And can speech language pathologists help with this? Absolutely. There okay. are very structured programs for working with apraxia. More is better. If you have apraxia, it's something that takes a lot of speech therapy to correct. Okay. Um, but it is, there's a very systematic method of improving speech if you have apraxia. Thank you so much. That was extremely helpful. So Great. Thank you so much. Great. And thank you guys for watching Two Minute Tips for Autism. Until next time. Bye, guys.